We are now in the chapter of absolute value equations and in algebra one you would have looked at absolute values already but in this lesson I just wanted to give us a a recap or a quick reminder of the basics of how or what absolute values are. Okay so for the first question this is number one. Remember these numbers here are just telling us the question number. Okay, it's not part of the question itself. So there are 10 questions in total. For number one, um, so the answer must always be a positive when it's inside an absolute value. Okay, so the answer for this one will just be three. The answer for this one will just be a four. The answer for this one would just be six. The answer for this one would just be 10. Now with this one, there is a negative in the front. Now what you do not want to do is you do not want to multiply this negative inside. That is not allowed. So what you first do is you just work out this part over here. So that would just be a three, right? But then this negative would still be in the front. And so the answer is negative three, okay? So for number six, don't worry about that negative right now. Just look at that. That part there would be a three, but then there is still a negative in the front. So it would be negative three as our final answer. Now for this one, this negative is already there. So just leave it there. Then this is just a two. Okay. Then this plus is next. And then what is this? What is this part? Well, that just becomes a three. And then you have minus two plus three, which is one. Now for this one, don't put the negative on the inside. Please guys, you're not allowed to do that. So what you can do is just write out the negative that's already there. Then what does this part become? What does that become? Well, an absolute value is always positive. So it just becomes a three. And then we've got a little minus over here. So we can put a minus and then we've got this minus four over here. So we can just change that to a positive four. And so now we have minus three minus four, which is minus seven. Here we have a negative, so we just put the negative there. Then this is just a one. Then we've got a plus, so we put the plus. By the way, some of you might be thinking that these pluses and negatives are in between the absolute values, like it's another absolute value, but that's not what I'm trying to show you. What I'm trying to show you is that you've got an absolute value, and then we're gonna add on another absolute value like minus three, okay? So that's just in between. It's not in, It's not like in its own absolute value, okay? And so what we have is minus one and then plus, and then this part here would just become a three, and so minus one plus three is two. And then for this next one, we have um, a minus, and then this part here would just be a three, and then we've got another minus, which is that one there, and then this part here would just become a five, so that would just become minus five. And so minus three minus five is minus eight. And so here we have another 10 questions. So with this one over here, you've got minus three minus four, which is minus seven, okay? But the absolute value always becomes a positive. So it'll be positive seven. Four minus eight is minus four, but the absolute value is always a positive. So it becomes positive four. Minus six plus three is minus three, but then the absolute value always becomes positive, so that would be three. Minus one minus two would become three, sorry, minus three, and then the absolute value always becomes positive three. Now remember, this one has a negative in the front, so we'll just put that there for now. And then what does this give us? Well, minus three plus two is minus one, minus one minus four is minus five, but the absolute value always becomes positive. Okay, so this whole part here is five. So we'll put a five there, but then that negative was already there, so that stays, so that's negative five. Here we have a negative in the front, so we'll just write it there so long, and then let's work out this part here. So that's three minus two, which is one. One plus four is five. So the answer will stay a five, but that negative was already there. Okay, please remember that this plus is not in between the two absolute values. I'm just saying that it's this absolute value plus this absolute value. Okay, so here we have um, here we have a negative. So I'll just put a negative there. Then we've got a four. Now the absolute value of four is just four plus. Now this value here is minus five, but the absolute value of minus five must be positive five. And then we have minus four plus five, which is one. For number 18, we have a negative. 
Okay, so we'll just put that negative over there. Then this over here is negative is negative five. Okay, but the absolute value of negative five is just positive five, so we put it over there. Then there's a minus, so we put a minus. Then this becomes negative four, but the absolute value of negative four is a positive four. So we just write the four over there, and then minus five minus four is minus nine. So that one's answer is minus nine. For number 19, we have a negative over there, so we say minus. And then what does this part become? Well, that's one minus three minus two, so that's one minus three, which is minus two, minus another two, which is negative four, okay? But the absolute value of negative four must become a positive, so it's positive four over there, plus, and then what does this give us? Well, that gives us a two, and so the absolute value of that is just gonna stay two. So minus four plus two is negative two. Okay, last question, three minus four, well, oh sorry, there's a negative in the front, let's write that down. Then three minus four is negative one, but the absolute value of negative one is just one. And then we say minus, and then what is minus five minus two? Well, that's minus seven, but the absolute value of minus seven would just be a positive seven, so I'm just gonna put a positive seven over there. Some of you might be like, yeah, but why is there a negative then? Well, remember that negative is this negative. It was there already. And then minus one minus seven is minus eight.